let's save this example as UD type 2. And what we will accomplish in this example is how you can declare a template with more than one types. So I have T and U to be two separate types. Okay. I'm using T to create property one, and I'm using U to create a property two. Again, what is T, what is U, that will be determined during runtime. And we will have more than one getters. So copy the existing getter and paste that. And just make some minor changes. Make it, make it get object one, get object two, uh, and simply return the properties, property one and property two. And then you have to, oh, If anybody's thirsty, it's just from RPD. I really don't want to care at all. So, I'll just leave it here. All I ask is that I don't see that right here. Oh, shucks. Any more questions? Now I Or somebody can just drink the mountain dew directly. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 we remembered. <laughs> okay. So here we got get object one of type T because that's what the return type of property one is. And get object two is U because that's what the return type for property two is. Now I will create an instance of UD type 2. The UD type 2 instance that I'm creating is such that the first parameter is of type string. The second parameter is of type integer. So the T for this call will be a string and the U for this call will be an integer. And then I'm passing a string and an integer value to the constructor. Line 25, instead of calling it an int object in line 24, I'm now going to call this one CRS course object. So now I can make some meaningful context here course name CRS object dot get object one number of credits course object dot get object two credits Upon running, we can get this output. So when the class was created, it didn't have any context. But when I'm creating objects, I'm giving them context. So on the fly, the T is string and U is integer. And yours? Fine, OK. Similarly, I can use the same setup, but change the context. Let me copy these three lines that I wrote 
And let me paste them again. Now, instead of a string and an integer combination, I want to make an integer and a double combination. And the name of my object, instead of CRS object, I want to call this one work object, WRK object. So the two parameters that I'm passing it are a work order number and the cost of doing the job. So I can now change the context and saying, OK, uh, work order number. and cost and as you can see that without making any changes to the actual class we just change the context the same class can now be used for a totally different purpose <laughs> 